exploration was the theme of the 40-minute feature film A Trip to the Moon by Georges Méliès in 1902. The film was, among others, influenced by Jules Verne's sci-fi novels. In 1950, George Pell's sci-fi Destination Moon offered a prophetic plot where the astronauts upon landing on the lunar surface are running out of fuel. Kick her up, Jim. Give her some lateral. Too late. Got to land her in the next few seconds of firing and won't have enough to get home. Apollo 11's real-life close call of running out of fuel and having only one try to light the ascent engine off the lunar surface is revisited in Robert Stone's three-part documentary chasing the moon. If the ascent engine on the moon didn't light up, they were marooned. So that was the headline we had, ready to go. This engine burned seven minutes and 18 seconds, Frank, to get them into that 9.9 mile orbit, and it has to work. A year before the Apollo 11 mission, popular culture was once again forward-thinking, shooting beyond the moon. If you think of something like Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, that's in many ways, it comes out in 1968, and it's projecting ahead of the moon landings to an uh, era when regular trips to the moon are going to be a part of everyday life. And while the space race was in a dead heat between the United States and the Soviet Union, after Soviet cosmonauts Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space in 1961, Gene Roddenberry's series, Star Trek, was already imagining a united federation of planets working together on peaceful space exploration. And envisioning also a future of what it would look like to have men and women of different races, different nationalities, even an alien, all on board cooperating. Decades after Apollo 11, technological advances in filmmaking have allowed studios to remaster original NASA and other historic footage into IMAX, HD, and 3D technologies, which have allowed filmmakers such as Robert Stone to offer a visually compelling and historically comprehensive overview of the space race. We just went through uh, many, many thousands of hours of material in order to arrive at uh, what you see in the final film. But by doing that, we were able to, to discover things uh, that uh, have been completely forgotten. The six minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11. Now five minutes, 52 seconds and counting. Booster flight. Working closely with NASA and the National Archives, filmmaker Todd Douglas Miller of the IMX documentary Apollo 11 offers a time capsule of the week around moon landing from the launch to the astronauts' return. The team processed never-seen-before 70-millimeter historic footage and 11,000 hours of audio recordings on the mission of Apollo 11. I believe that this nation should commit itself. Damien Chazelle's feature film on Apollo 11, First Man, is told from the perspective of Neil Armstrong and his family by blending seamlessly the film's cinematography with archival footage. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.